Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, this is the one chart of DXY US dollar index in front of us. And as expected, DXY is still trading inside the range only. In our previous videos, we talked about the ascending triangle pattern but we can see right now that the ascending triangle pattern is no longer valid the xy is sideways right now after failing to cross the resistance of 103.60 to 103.70 the xy is sideways right now and as we already know it very well that today and tomorrow we don't have any major news Yes, if you look at the economy camera, you'll see that we have some news coming up, but this news doesn't have the potential to change the direction of the market. Okay, so more, yes, there can be some volatility. You need to be careful at the time of the news, but uh, there should not be crazy volatility, crazy trend reversals. So right now, this is the range here, DXY, 103.6070 on the upside, and then we have 103 at the bottom right now as the support and as we can see right now the dxy is approaching the support here 103 here previous price rejection around the area as well as we also have the 200 moving average so in this situation there should be some kind of support to dxy and if dxy bounces we will get to see a continuation of the sideways market Below 103, we have the next support around 102.80. The previous resistance will be working as support here. We discussed this. So plan your trades accordingly. This is all about DXY. Now let's look at the chart of gold. So gold is standing at 1896. Yes, we discussed about the possibility of gold breaking the trend line heading high. And yes, we got to see that move. And yes, our next resistance where we were looking for sell position also worked nicely we saw a good trend reversal trend reversal i'll say okay good selling pressure okay around 1899 level and market drop right now we can see the market is standing at the 100 moving average so the downward channel is no longer valid that is a good news for us because we were waiting for the market to uh, break the downward channel so downward channel is no longer valid and again my dear friends you need to understand that the trend of the market is supreme trend of the market has not changed keep in mind the trend of the market has not changed yes the market is out of the out of the channel but that doesn't mean that the trend of the market has changed and moreover we don't have any news also that will change the trend of the market right now so technicals will still dominate the market and considering the overall trend of the market you need to plan your trades accordingly so considering the uh, higher number of sellers trade um, not trade um, sell on rise okay sell on rise or sell at resistance is the best trading strategy right now 1896 this is the current market price here during the day obviously market will try to head higher the next resistance will be around 1904 to 1905 in our previous videos we did not talk about this level but as we can clearly see that market has respected 50 moving average for a long time yesterday market respected 100 moving average as a dynamic resistance then obviously we can expect the same from the 200 moving average and we can clearly see that around 1904 1905 we have uh, the 200 moving average simple moving average okay so if market goes up and if you see the volatility of the market like this you can expect some selling pressure once you'll see the market is reversing you can look for a sell position how much you can expect you can expect 40 50 pips easily if market reverses from 1904 to 1905 but right now you need to wait for the market to cross the 1900 level 1900 okay 1900 not only 1900 level all the round numbers are a little bit critical okay so 1904 1905 is the next resistance for on the chart of gold but keep in mind as i have already discussed in my previous videos 19 these levels are not very major levels these are just minor levels where day traders yes where day traders can look for quick entry and exit 
The next good level on the chart of gold is still the same around 1910. It can be 1909 also. 1909, 1911. Around 1910 level, we have the 23, uh, FIBO 23.6 percent retracement level. The previous support will be acting as resistance, previous price rejection. If we combine all the factors, 1910, 1925, these are good levels. These are good resistances where you can expect strong sellers to be present. For example, 19, 1925, around 1925, we, you can see we have uh, FIBO 38.2 percent retracement level. Previous support will be working as resistance. Market has also shown previous price rejection around the area. If we combine all the factors, 1925 is seems to be a strong zone of sellers. Similarly, 1910 also. But right now, 1904, 1905, these are just minor levels where you can look for quick entry and exits only. So in case market surprises us during the US session with good amount of buying power, observe the market around 1910, 1925 level. If market reverses, if you see market struggling according to our expectations, then only look for a sell. Because in case the news that is coming up if it surprises us okay with huge volatility okay market is full of surprises we cannot guarantee so if uh, this particular uh, new surprises us with extreme volatility then obviously it may not work but i think if you look at the contracts data then i think uh, market should not break 1930 95 1935 level this month because we can see the highest number of contracts around 1930 1935 level yes i agree the number of contracts are not very high but we can see that change in open interest is quite positive here so 1930 1935 uh, should be the uh, resistance for the month and if you're wondering about support then obviously we do, technically we still we don't have any support we can see the market is uh, taking temporary support around 1885 level 1885 already market has taken support three times around this area so during the day if market bounces from this particular level here you can go for a buy but on the other hand if you see market approaching the support level with big red candles use your common sense okay trading and call common sense go side by side i always say this if you see market standing at 1885 with a big red candle and if market breaks it obviously you don't need to go for a buy position okay in that case you can look for neck next support around 1875 technically we don't have any strong reason to consider 1875 as a next support but according to contracts data yes there are some contracts lying at 1875 so it should work this is 1875 here not a big support change in open interest is also negative but still we can look for some support around 1875 so let's wait and watch okay and considering the trend of the market and due to absence of any major news still the technical should should dominate the market so try to stick to the levels do not try to predict the market do not gamble with your hard-earned money do not think that market should go okay there's nothing like that okay still yes market did not form a lower low market did not form a lower low okay we we discussed about the potential of some trend reversal some good amount of recovery but still we don't have the confirmation yet yes market uh, is no longer forming lower low that is a good sign but still we don't have any confirmation regarding a trend reversal and as we all know it very well that for a trend reversal we need fundamental factors and we don't have yet okay maybe after the BRICS meeting there may be some changes but as of now we don't have it so in this situation Try to stick to the levels only. Do not try to predict the market at each and every level. It is not possible. We are retail traders. We don't drive the market. It is not possible to understand the market at each and every price level. Okay. And as a retail trader, you need to understand it very well. Okay. So try to stick to the levels that you understand, that we understand. Okay. So if I'm wrong, okay, if you didn't like my words, feel free to write in a comment section. I would love to learn from you. After all, we are all students of the market, isn't it? So that's all from my side, my dear friends. Um, this is my analysis. I can be wrong as well. So please follow proper risk management. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.